these thoughts around in my head for several months and I've wanted to make a video but I haven't been able to find the words to properly get the thoughts in my head out in a way that I feel would make sense to anyone but me. Um, can you relate to that feeling? So it, it's been frustrating because I've had this video I've wanted to do for months and I think finally I am ready. I've got a couple notes and I want to talk about it. So if you're interested in this um, explosion of thought, stay tuned. I've just noticed this problem with society and with the way we view gender, be it actually male or female. With guys, there's a pressure for men to be very masculine and strong and not to show emotion and then all of this mess, which I don't think is healthy, um, probably, for your mental health to try and pretend you're strong all the time when you're not. Uh, and then for women, there's this pressure to um, often like be made up and be poised and be feminine and um, you know the high heel shoes and all those things. And there there's just pressures from both sides and for both gingers to act in a very specific way. Um, and that can be confusing growing up. I was always a tomboy, um, and so that's what my mom told me, why I wasn't a girly girl, I didn't really know what that meant, but I was like, okay, you know, that's cool, I like to hang out with boys, and um, I was kind of always more like one of the guys hanging out with my friends. Um, I didn't have a lot of female friends growing up, I had a few. But mostly I was more interested, like, um, I liked going fishing and picking up toads and bugs and um, I really liked walking alone in the woods or walking in the woods uh, and just anything out with critters and nature and animals. Um, and a lot of girls like animals, so that's all right. But as I got older, I didn't ever really lose that interest in animals and in our teens a lot of the other girls got really into clothes and fashion and eventually I figured out my own sense of style but I feel like I believe bloomed in that kind of late only after being picked on a bit and um, I, I didn't I don't know I just it didn't occur to me that I needed to change the way I dressed I still liked the same clothes that I liked when I was little, but uh, the other kids were <laughs> pretty merciless. Mm. But, and that's just more of that like pressure from society. Like when something's different, people pick at it. And it's really sad that um, culturally we're not more embracing of people who like different things than we like or um, that maybe you want to dress a little differently than people around dress. People need to be kinder to each other. Um, I think the world would be a lot more interesting if people didn't follow the crowd and do what everyone else is doing all the time. Um, try, you know, keeping up with all these fashion trends and, uh, all of that is a lot of work. I grew up in a hair salon, so I learned how to do makeup, and being able to do makeup well uh, became something that was, uh, in high school, gave me a little bit of popularity because I knew how to do makeup, so people wanted me to teach them that. So I used that skill uh, at one point. And I also didn't get picked on as much once I started to wear makeup because Society treats you better when you conform. It's really sad. I don't know if that's really why, but I, hope, I, I don't know. It could be. Um, and all of that, I think, is just very unfortunate. And my wish is that it would stop. And I don't know what we need to do to make it stop. But 
it's just this wish I've been having and I couldn't put it into words and I hope that wasn't, I hope that makes sense. Um, but this is just this wish I have for the world and everyone. Um, anyway, let me know what you think and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.